Morning folks, welcome to Coffee with Job. Friday morning, if I, I pause for a second, you can hear that it's chucking down rain. Well, maybe you, you can't hear that. But, um, you know, we're due to head away up to uh, Nelson's Bay for a weekend. It's go, our second weekend that we, since we've been here, that we've actually gone up to the beaches, if you like. And it looks like this time it's going to be chucking it down rain as well. You know, and I was thinking about that a lot. I was thinking about, and, and the reason I'm thinking about it, and I've mentioned it, a couple of years ago, we were absolutely assured by the modelers that we weren't going to see serious rain in Australia for four years. I think it was till 2023. And that the likelihood was we were going to have more or less permanent drought and bushfires and so on. And within about a month of that comp that prediction being made so confidently and being opined on in the Sydney Morning Herald and politicians and uh, others, clergy as well, saying, you know, this is all the end. It started chucking down rain. And basically, this year, uh, we've more to worry about floods than, than, than we have about bushfires and drought. And that reminds me of why we're looking at Job because Job 23 is the whole book of Job. It's, it's part of God's word. What we're looking at today is Job 23 and there's a certainty about God's word and that's why it resonates with so many of us. So we're, we come to Job's speech response to Eliphaz. Job 23, if you've got a Bible, open it, verses 1 to 7. Then Job replied, even today my complaint is bitter. My hand is heavy in spite of my groaning. If only I knew where to find him, if only I could go to his dwelling. I would state my case before him and fill my mouth with arguments. I would find out what he would answer me and consider what he would say to me. Would he vigorously oppose me with great power? No, he would not press charges against me. There the upright can establish their innocence before him, and there I would be delivered forever from my judge. Do you know, in looking at the Bible, and, you know, I'm saying weather forecasts, I'm saying modeling about COVID, I'm saying all the news predictions, and I read a lot of analysis. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're not. But in 40 years of following Christ, I've never found his word to ever be wrong. So this is just a, a great passage because it contains one of the most fabulous verses in scripture for me. If only I knew where to find him. If only I could go to his dwelling. I wonder what your longing is and I wonder what your desires are. It's a, it's a very good question for us to reflect and think upon. Sometimes our desires just merely reflect the appetites we have at the moment. I want a drink, I want more food. You know, people have sexual appetites and others. And, and our culture is geared towards meeting those desires. Or, But I wonder what our deepest longings are. As Christians, I think many will say, oh, I know what my, my desire is for you, Lord, and we'll sing that. But honestly, really? Well, here, Job, he's saying his complaint is bitter. It's the bitterness of his soul. He says his hand is heavy. Now, that could be translated my hand is heavy. And either way, it means, you know, I'm weighed down or God is pushing down on me. It just means my life is miserable. And then he, he, he's, he's asked God to crush him in chapter 6. He wants God to hide him in chapter 14. But here is his supreme longing that God will bring justice, that God will acquit him, and above all, that he would be able to go into the presence of God, and he would long to be with God. I said yesterday that sometimes in our lives we experience moments of, of the sense of the awareness of God's presence, and we long for it. I've been at people's deathbeds, believers, who have reached that point where they no longer want to live because they're just ready to go home and they're, they're longing to be there. And I think that's a little bit like us sometimes, isn't it? Maybe you go away on a holiday and, you know, and the first week's great and then the second week, by the end of the second week, you know you've been on a holiday when you're just longing to get home. 
Well, for the Christian, is that your case? Where, where can you find him? Where can you find him? We find him in his word. We find him in Christ. We find him in what he has created. But ultimately, we find him only in heaven. That's what we look for. All right. Uh, I will see you after this rainy weekend. Uh, hopefully, if you want to join us for the Romans Road on Sunday. And... Uh, then back here on Monday for more Coffee with Job and another great verse. And by the way, don't forget the Quantum podcast just come out. I, personally, I think it's a cracker. I think it just the clips in it are just absolutely brilliant. So go and have a look at it. God bless you. See you on Sunday or Monday. Bye.